Hello everyone and welcome back to McKegg's Movie Mayhem in association with WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. I'm your host Eli McKegg and today I'm going to be doing the movie review for ISS. War has broken out below and we were told to take the ISS by any means necessary. Now ISS is a new sort of espionage thriller type movie from Bleecker Street and the simple premise is a big nuclear war breaks out between the United States and Russia and so they both beam messages up to the International Space Station to the Russian cosmonauts and the United States astronauts to basically say, hey, we need you to take control of the International Space Station. And that's the basic plot and then chaos ensues on the International Space Station. Space Station. And I have to say, the movie has an interesting plot, but I wasn't 100% with the execution of the film because it was one of those things where they very much early on state in the film, oh yeah, these characters, the cosmonauts and the astronauts, really don't talk about political affairs. They don't really talk about any of the stuff that happens on the ground. The only thing they're focusing on is what's happening on the space station. That way, no wires can get crossed in terms of how they react to each other. So they really firmly established like, hey, this is a safe space. This International Space Station is a safe space, no pun intended. And so whenever they get those messages, when the chaos ensues, it's sort of giving you, giving you the idea of, okay, now all that's out the window. And so it was interesting to see, the, I think the main problem I had with the film was that I didn't really fully connect with all of the characters when they were introduced in the film. Like, they very much were trying to set up, hey, this person is this type of way, and this character is this type of way, and this character is this type of way, and now we can all like each other a little bit. But then it's sort of, the idea of liking all these characters goes out the window the moment all the chaos ensues, because by that point, you start seeing all of the cracks in the in the armor of these characters to where, oh, they're not really a nice person anymore and they're not really a kind person anymore. There was one character in particular who was on the United States side where it was just, oh, he's introduced in a way where it's like, oh yeah, look how relatable this character is. He has two daughters. Look how relatable, he's a great guy. But then like midway through the movie, all that gets thrown out the window and it's like, sure he has kids and that's his main reasoning for trying to help everything out and trying to get through all this. But I didn't care about that by the end of the film. By the end of the film, I was like, you know, I'd be fine if you don't exist anymore because you're just not a nice person. And I liked the moments of the film where it was both sides, um, Russia and the United States, when some of the characters would work together because by that point it was just, hey, we are working together and we're, we don't care about what's happening on the ground. Like, they're continuing with the message of, hey, it doesn't matter what's happening on the ground. What matters is what's happening here and let's try to think of a peaceful solution. And I just think that I liked that moment of characters trying to work together, but they always get undercut by the moments of when they weren't, when some of the characters weren't working together. And the film is like around 95 minutes, so it's a very quick watch. But again, it's still one of those things where I didn't really care about the characters. I think if I would have cared about the characters, I would have maybe cared about the movie and the plot a little bit more. And Speaking of the characters, Ariana DeBose plays the main character, Kira Foster, Dr. Kira Foster, and she's a character that sort of wants to be on her own because of a personal situation that happened on Earth, and she just sort of just wants to be on her own and sort of working on her own stuff by herself. And she's our eyes, because this is sort of her first time on the International Space Station. So she's sort of our eyes on this entire thing, seeing all the 
interactions and the relationships that have already been established on the International Space Station and sort of I think it was a good idea to have someone who was an outsider be our main focal point. I just really didn't connect with her character as much. I really enjoyed Ariana DeBose's performance. I think she did a really good job. I just think the character, the way the character was written, I really didn't care that much about her, about her plot line and how her character is really portrayed because I didn't really feel there was a lot of growth. I mean, by the end of the film, I think she is willing, like there is a character arc there, but I just felt like in the film there wasn't as strong of a character arc as there could have been, and maybe there should have been. John Gallagher Jr. plays Christian, who was another, another um, astronaut on the, in the cast, and he's sort of the one I was mainly talking about, the um, United States astronaut who had kids, but then is really not trusting midway through. And he was, he was the character where I was thinking to myself the most, man, you just turned quick. Like that was like a switch. It, it seemed like it didn't matter that he had known these people for a long time. It was just, oh no, I, I just wanna see my kids screw everyone else. And I very much think that that really hurt his character, in my opinion. I, I really couldn't connect with his character and connect with the reasons why he did all the stuff he did in the film. Like, I just, I ultimately didn't care. And, and there are only six characters in this entire film, so you're having to connect with six people. And, I, and me personally, I don't think it would be hard to connect with six characters in one film. It's just the way a lot of the characters were written gave me, made me not feel fully connected with the, it's just the way they were written, I didn't feel connected to a lot of the characters as I think I should have. And one of the main Russian actors in the film was Pilau Ashbek, who plays Alexei in the film. And I think um, he was a character that I was very hesitant about at the beginning, but he was also a character that had a really good arc in the film. But again, it was one of those things where his arc felt believable to an extent to where I could believe at a certain point he would be feeling like, oh, why is everything happening? Like at first he was very much agreeing to it, but then midway through he was like, I don't know if we should continue to do this. And my entire mindset was, well, you already made, made your bed, you better sleep in it. It's a little too late to go back on all that. And I just, I just think a lot of the characters could have been reworked and rewritten. I did like Pilau Ashbeck's um, performance. I don't want to get away from that. He's a great actor and I really did enjoy his performance. It was just the way the character was written. It's like Ariana DeBose and Pilau Ashbeck were the two characters that I think had the most meat, the ones that had the most arcs and the ones that were able to shine above a lot of the others. I just feel as though that they, it should have just been the way they were written. I just feel like the way the characters were written could have been better. But when it comes to the, to the visual effects, like the visual effects were amazing. Like I felt like I was in the International Space Station. The way the outer space looked, the way looking down at Earth from the International Space Station, it all looked amazing. And I think a lot of, when it came to the visual effects, a lot of the shine goes to the exterior shots when people are walking outside on the International Space Station when we're getting all those shots that we cannot get in real life. But just those shots of being in outer space were really great and I really do enjoy the visual effects in the film. I, my main complaint is with the plot and with the characters and I just felt like the plot and the characters could have been more developed and more fleshed out. I feel like there could have been more there with the characters but overall I just think if you want to go watch a movie then you can go watch this movie. There aren't a lot of new releases. This is like the newest release because it came out last week and I couldn't do the review last week but overall I think this film had a lot of problems in terms of the characters and 
the plot line, the way they were written, and I think that could have been improved. However, the visual effects and the musical score were actually really well done, in my opinion. So overall, I give this movie a two and a half out of five stars, a five out of ten. Next week, I'm going into the realm of spy action type espionage films as I watch the newest Matthew Vaughn film, which is Argyle. But until then, I've been Eli McKegg with WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News, and I hope you all remember to watch movies.